Okay, it's a horrible rainy day outside, so I've decided to finally do the bus bed review, which I've been meaning to do for months now. I bought this uh, for my little boy who was just about to turn three back at the beginning of this year, 2020. Um, got it for his third birthday as I transitioned him from his cot to a big boy bed. It's um, the Julian Bowen double decker bus bed. I bought it in um, Robert Dias, but they do it in lots of different places. I know Argos have got it and I think even Next do it in lots of different places, sell it online. But at the time, the best price I got was Robert Dias. Love the front detail. It has got bus 8 Bond Street and then it's got the number plate, the grill, the pretend lights and windscreen wipers and it's also got this cool um steering wheel which moves like this which they love as you can see it's quite tight between the mattress and the steering wheel this mattress is a silent night 22 centimeter one i actually wish now that i'd bought one maybe 20 centimeters or just slightly smaller so that it wasn't quite so tight because it is a bit awkward when i'm changing the fitted sheet but it's not a huge problem. But like I say, if I was going to buy it again, I probably would go for less than 22 centimetres. It's lovely and sturdy. We actually paid for a very helpful handyman to put it together because I don't think if we put it together, it would uh, be quite as strong and well built as it currently is. No fault of the manufacturer, just purely that we're not very good at anything DIY based. Um, the London Bond Street writing and the Union Jacks is only on the one side. So you have to think about where you're going to position it in your room. That did cause us a bit of a headache. But in the end, we decided we kind of put it in the middle of this back wall. And that's worked out quite well for us. If I show you the back, there's not actually anything printed on the back. So... Uh, we weren't worried about that being hidden in the corner. The top mattress has to be under, well, they advise it's under 16 centimetres when it's a top bunk. That is so that they obviously don't roll out and it's safe for them. I went for a silent night 15.51 and I'm quite happy with that. We'll definitely go for that again. But like I say, we'd probably go for thinner than 22 centimetres for the bottom if I was going to purchase again. Louie? Louie? Can you come here please? Just going to get... This is actually my eldest son Louie, he's six, it's not actually his bed, it's his little brother's but I thought I'd show you how sturdy the ladder is. You love this bed don't you? Yeah. It's really handy to have actually because Louis sometimes sleeps in it or if we've got friends round and we need a spare bed Louis comes and sleeps in here and it's really handy because the bottom bunk is good for little ones when they are transitioning from cot to big boy bed or big girl bed of course it doesn't have to be for a boy it could be for a boy or a girl. We're boys. You are boys. <laughs> so love all this right in it's lovely bright red Nice and easy to wipe when they get their grubby mitts on it. Do you want to climb back down for me? Okay. It's easy to climb down. Brilliant. Thank you. 